we just showed the corner of the street. My problem, <coughs> once it is thrown outside, it is no longer not realizing that it uh, comes back to me only, it affects money. Then collection and uh, again dumping at some common center. At the common collection center, the rat pickers go and segregate. I don't know how many of you have visited those common collection <coughs> centers which are located in the containers, the Knee deep in uh, those um, common collection centers, they segregate. Most of them suffer health attacks. Most of them suffer health I think Amir also showed that in his uh, presentation. <coughs> then we dump that into landfill. In landfill dumping, we need to see is it the right model for us. In certain towns, <coughs> like Guangatur, uh, I think Namakal, in Tamil Nadu, in a number of towns in Maharashtra, in Andhra, they are converting that into compost. In certain towns, uh, they are incinerating to generate it. Let us analyze each and each of the three, four that I know of. Landfill. Is it the right solution? A country with 1.2 billion population, we are not a land rich country. Fundamentally, we are not a land rich country. We are a land is not country. So, land acquiring more and more land for dumping municipal solid waste is not the right answer. Number, number two, that I am dumping away from my house, but it is next to somebody else's house. All around the country, new sites are not possible. People protest. Large number of protests uh, have been reported. So no longer it is possible. So this option, we have to <coughs> say goodbye. The associated problem is legit, health hazards, and a host of things. Second is incineration. We have a plant in uh, Delhi. We have a plant in Lucknow. Lucknow one, of course, I think it, is, it doesn't work. You know. Delhi one, there have been a lot of protests. Why protests? Because we are not incinerating the organic uh, garbage at all. Along with organic garbage, but inorganic garbage like plastics are also incinerated. Plastic incineration results in releases Dioxin and Kerala, which are carcinogenic, and that's why the protest. <coughs> which means, certain places we have done composting, which I consider as uh, one of the good solutions, but could be better. <coughs> so let us see what uh, what what we should be, what we should do. As this and also solid waste are of four types. We'll talk about uh, e-waste and uh, liquid waste later. So I'll confine myself to organic waste which will generate in the household and from the those sabji bazaars, sabji markets, fruit markets. Second is uh, the inorganic waste which are uh, paper tins, plastic, glasses, etc. Third is CND waste. <coughs> e-waste as well. If we fill together the landfill, no answer, no solution, no business model. So the vessel interest only make money in the process. If we, if we set up incineration, we have no <coughs> the air quality around because of the incineration of plastic. Air quality around is not good. It in fact releases heroin and arsenic as we said. So that model also is not the appropriate model. I'm not saying that's a bad model, it's not an appropriate model. Third is the CND waste. Let us see whether this municipal solid waste, are they amenable to business model where can business be generated? If business gets generated, profitable business gets generated, then definitely it is possible to manage the municipal solid waste without any CND waste. Let us see how it is possible. Fundamentally, municipal solid waste needs to be segregated at the house. 
unless we segregate most of solid waste at the household with, uh, in two different baskets, one is organic, another is inorganic, I can tell you with a fair amount of certainty that no business model is there. No business model is there. So first and foremost is that we need to segregate the household garbage into organic and organic, keep it separate. Amit houses in the same. In fact, he <coughs> asked all of us to take place that uh, whether the municipality comes and collects in one dustbin, but you must segregate it and keep it in a segregated If it is segregated, then let us see what are the streams that uh, can, can be built upon that. If you keep it segregated, <coughs> also into organic and or inorganic. The rat pickers who right now go and segregate the municipal garbage at the common dumping place, he can come and collect the garbage from your house and can pay him 20 rupees per month. He can do about, manage about 200 to 300 also a day, which means uh, in a month he can get something like 4,000 to 6,000 rupees depending on how many that he can We tried this uh, model in Tamil Nadu. It was successful in certain towns. One town which I can vouch for is Uti, where I was visited and like It worked. Whether it is still working or not, I am not, I left the world. Of course, there was a negative perverse. There was, there was a perverse incentive, but then it worked. So it is possible to <coughs> make that work that you know you keep it collected in your segregated in a, in a house. Somebody can come and collect, a rat can do to him some amount, 20 rupees a very small amount per month, and that can all of us can do he, he lives a uh, he sort of decent state. Today he is living his wretched, his inhuman life. Allow him to sell the inorganic, inorganic uh, waste to the body. Because there the segregation takes place and uh, they go to different recycling places. He can earn about another thousand rupees a month. So he would earn a decent level. So one part is handy, that is the inorganic one. Let us see the organic one, which is the most important and which causes more problem. The organic one, if organic garbages are collected from individual household and it goes in that stream to process it, then it is very much possible to process into different uh, products. <coughs> One product which I would like to talk about more, particularly for major terms, is not incineration, but biomethylation. Why I talk about biomethylation? Because it would generate two revenue streams. One, when you biomethylation, then you get methane. To capture methane, convert either into either into electricity or into cylinder and run the city transport services. You have pollution loads will automatically come down in the town. <coughs> the waste left out is a good fertilizer. Pack it and send it to the back to the villages. We have with excessive use of fertilizer after green revolution, our lands are becoming infertile. So there is a need to push back the green matter which comes from the villages back to the villages to improve our land. And I think that would be a sustainable model in the overall context. You have to see not only a small business but a bigger business. Now you generate two, two revenue streams from the organic waste in the city. What is the input cost? 20 rupees I pay. So there is no input cost to the, the project proponent. The only input cost for him is to, from the common center, transportation of municipal organic waste from common center to the processing places. But then he generates huge amount of revenue. So the input uh, cost would be far lower than the output uh, cost or output uh, amount. So it becomes a business model <coughs> and we need to promote this. Why we are not promoting this, I have no answer. Possibly the mayor who has come here, she would tell us better than anybody. But what we uh, heard that day, they put on last Sunday, it looks like a uh, huge amount of lesson interest that have grown, and we are not doing it. This solution would need to be developed <coughs> or, or at least major municipality where 
the amount of garbage is big enough to be converted to by the biodegradation process, generate the thing, pack that into for into, into cylinder for transportation or convert into electricity, whatever that <coughs> is possible. And the fertilizer which is excess the compost which is the ex excellent uh, compost can go back to the villages. A small municipality, my understanding is that better to come convert that convert that into into compost. We have tried that in Tamil Nadu, has been successful, but the problem that we mm -hmm. encounter, who would sell that? We tried with uh, the fertilizer companies. All the fertilizer companies have reached right up to the villages. They have depots in the villages. They said that uh, you must sell this also. In certain places, I believe even high courts have uh, ordered them to do that. Government have ordered them to do that, but uh, they are reluctant. It must be made mandatory to them. If you are selling two bags of chemical fertilizer, you must sell one bag of this. Because you are spoiling land, so you have, you, have you have a duty to improve the land. And this only way you can do that. So, cast the duty upon them, cast the responsibility upon them. Even if we have to bring a mandate through a legislation, we must do So, inorganic and organic, I thought that these are the two ways where you have business model possible and I think uh, we should, my view is that we should try that. Coming to CND, that is the construction and uh, demolition. The league creates huge amount of construction and uh, demolition. RNFS set up a plant in Burai where they crush it and convert that uh, crushed material into different products, uh, tiles, paving material, Stones, uh, number of things like that. When we ask them what are the problems they are facing, nobody buys that. If they don't buy, obviously they don't have space to keep all those products uh, with them. And why should they spend that much on day food? That is not procured back by the municipality. Who is responsible for living paving uh, uh, pavement, uh, pavements? Municipalities. The township developers, DLS type. Why can't you make it mandatory? Why should they use similar concrete material for developing paving materials? Why not this, this uh, from Burali and like that? We must make it also mandatory on the municipalities <coughs> and also by municipalities to all the developers, the real estate developers for laying roads, for laying pavements, for curb stones, for all the use which are, which do not go exactly in construction of the household. I believe even tiles are possible to be uh, made out of this. The household is. If we use that in the CND ways, we will ultimately find the way to our own uh, system. Pavement. So there is, a mar there is a product, there is a market, so business model is possible. This is what broad I thought that we can talk about the municipal solid waste in organic and organic plus CND and I think that the business model is possible but the starting point is segregation. Without segregation, no business model is possible. Then you will end up doing either compost with, uh, with uh, plastic and other things or with incineration and you will have protest in there. And we should naturally protest if uh, Firon and Daxin are released then we must protest. It's a hint of that. Mm -hmm. Coming to liquid waste, that is the sewage. I don't know how much of, uh, how, uh, how many of us know that uh, liquid waste, what do we do? Most of the towns don't treat, most of the towns don't treat, they just release in the open <coughs> drain or open uh, uh, forms. Let me give some examples of Tamil I was uh, handling Tamil Nadu Urban Development Fund, it's a public, public private partnership fund uh, created by government of Tamil Nadu together with RNFS, HDFC and, uh, and, and, and ICS. And it's managed by an asset management company, I was earlier asset management company, which is in the private sector, in the sense that uh, the three uh, private uh, financial institutions had 51% government of Tamil Nadu as only 49%. 
So I go nominee of ICIC rather than nominee of the ground. Tamil Nadu government and the Pen Fund, they used to move around to different municipalities, used to call region wise, but would always ensure that the elected representatives come. Because the elected representatives are there only for five years. Five years, if they don't work, they are definitely not going to come. For them, the interest is far more than you and I, particularly like, and people like us. We are you know, 35 years fixed, no problem. I move from here to here, I do mistake here, I go to the next place. But for them, they are local and they have to get a record. So my, <coughs> my interest was always to call the elected representative. And tell me, I, I, I believe, I tell you that uh, they were far, far more committed to their things. Most of them. In one particular case, one municipal, one municipal chairman, he said that, sir, next election, he was not going to win. I said, how? Why? He said, sir, come on me, I am not going to win this election. Then he took out a bottle of water and showed us that this is the color of the water that we supplied to the people, which was yellowish. We didn't know what was happening. He said, I have been talking to everybody, the engineers, the commissioners, nobody is able to do this. Why I am, why we get yellowish colour? It did require long to understand. You know, you, you release untreated water into the ponds, into the water drainage. This goes down, percolate down, and it spoils your pond. <coughs> we get only 30 to 35 days of rainfall in this country. And that rainfall must supply drinking water, potable water to us for 365 days. If rain water do not enter the subsoil system, we will be starved of water. Ganga which used to flow round the year, in Patna you don't, you know, we used to have a similar service across the Ganges throughout the year. Today you can't run and we are doing the normal service. You can't go across. It's a half of the river is dry. Rainfall must enter. If rainfall enters, that becomes our groundwater and that is what supplies uh, to us during the non-monsoon season. If that water gets spoiled because of our release of uh, liquid waste, then we are in a serious problem. <coughs> that particular gentleman, his name was Nalatabi. Nalatabi means good younger brother. He said to my name, people call me Vichas. I am no longer good, a good younger brother. We had to go and convince the chief minister. Tamil Nadu is the first state, I am not sure about the other state. We said that no more municipal liquid waste would be released without treatment into the, <coughs> into the open bondage or uh, the natural state. We face huge problem in Ganga, cleaning up of Ganga. How much of money we have spent? More than that, of course, already. And if we have to, Ensure, as the bank, Honorable Prime Minister has said that no untreated sewage will be released in Ganga by 2020. All the towns along uh, Ganga and all the, all the towns which are along the tributaries of Ganga, then will be required more than 500,000 crores of this. Where are we going to get this one? In Tamil Nadu, what, what do we do? I thought that that could be an example for other states to follow. <coughs> Tamil Nadu Urban Development Fund, UNDF, is to raise money from various sources, including the bond market, <coughs> World Bank, KFW, ADB, and to provide loan, long term loan, 25 years or 35 years, depending on the health of the municipality, to develop the underground sewage system.